Hello guys, my name is Harsh Kirk and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install the Lineage OS ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 or on your Samsung Trend Plus. I will show this demonstration with the help of my Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 and you guys can follow the same steps if you want to install this on your Trend Plus. But to make sure you download the correct file for Trend Plus from the description box below. So first of all, I will show you the my current device status go to about phone and here you can see my device model is s7582 that is s2 s2 running on cyanogen mode version 12.1 and android version 5.1.1 that is android lollipop so for this process you just need three files so you can download the files from the description box below and just download the files and place them in your micro sd card let me show you guys uh, that three files go to sd card and here you can find first one is this this one is twrp file this is used to update the twrp version and these two are this is the open gaps and this is the lineage 14.1 this is the main file lineage one now now guys quickly power off the device and boot up into your twrp recovery click on power off it will take couple of seconds in shutting down after that you know the key combination to boot into the TWRP recovery right volume up power key and home button three of them together until you see the exclamation mark now now guys you just have to click on install install image select this file recovery swipe to install now reboot your system now use the same key combination in order to reboot into recovery again. Same exclamation mark and you will be rebooted into recovery again. This will just update your TWRP version which is required to make correct changes. Now guys just make the backup in case you haven't. I have already made it so I will not make again. Now select wipe, advanced wipe, select the first wipe option, swipe to wipe. Now guys go back, back, now install, now select the lineage 14.1, add more zip, open gaps, now swipe to make the changes. So this will basically flash these files on your device. So this installation process will take uh, around 7 to 8 minutes. So I will just fast forward this part, so guys it will not bore you. Now click on that reboot system button, it will show the Samsung boot animation. Now here you can see return android. So guys this will also take couple of minutes, approximately 3 to 4 minutes. So I will also far, far, fast forward this part and skip some of the part for you guys. Now I have successfully booted up. Now quickly select up English India and tap on the next button. And in the same way you can configure your device as per your choice. So let me quickly configure my device. Next, next, start. So I have successfully booted up into my device. So guys first of all I will go to camera to check it whether it's working or not. So guys it's working well and good, actually it's dark here so you can't see anything. So it, it's our notification panel, it's the same like the Nougat one that we found on Android Nougat version. 
now i will go to settings quickly scroll down and go to about phone here you can see guys device model is same but android version is now 7.1.1 that is android nougat running on the line is os that is 14.1 and now i will go back and tap on the button let me find button here it is the button so guys if you want to configure any buttons you can from here there are tons of options to customize your device mainly the button section here it's the memory section here you can see average memory use is 400 mb from 718 mb from here you can find installed apps on your device nothing much scroll up from here you can set up the pattern for your device it's the lock screen security so guys that's all in this video if you like my video then please subscribe to my channel like and share this video as much as you can and I will see you guys in the next one.